What's up, everybody? DJ Yokely here with YSN for the first ever YSN March Madness Pizza Contest. And joining me is the expert in the area, Jeremy Oclada from Youngstown Pizza Reviews, the legend, well, I guess half, half the legacy uh, in the That's room it. right now, the, the second half your daughter. Jeremy, before we get started, first of all, thank you. Appreciate all that, that you've done for the Valley, uh, for small businesses, especially in, in the pizza, pizzeria industry. Um, but certainly, as we talked about kind of before the interview, this has got to be cool for a dad and a daughter to have. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, like I said, like what we were talking offline, like it just literally just started out as something we were doing as a joke to send to my brother-in-law. And then, you know, next thing you know, it just trickles down from stuff on my personal page. to Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to bore my, the people that don't want to watch this. So let's just make some fake little page just to, just to put some stuff on there. Next thing you know, you know, stuff starts, you know, how it goes, it, it snowballs, stuff starts getting shared and views go up into the thousands and you're like, what is going on? And then when the, when the owners of these pizza shops started calling, thanking, thanking us, telling us how much business we pushed their way, you know, during the pandemic, that's where it, it really started to kind of take on a life of its own. And like, man, this could be, this is really, it, like I said, it just happened out of nowhere. It wasn't anything that we really were planning on doing. So yeah, it was definitely cool to be able to do it with her too. And, you know, give her something to build too, you know, is the pandemic kind of why you started it? On, uh, to be honest with you. Yeah. Cause we were bored. <laughs> we were just sitting around doing nothing, you know, I mean, working from home and then, you can't do anything so you couldn't go to restaurants and but pizza shops were open and you know we love pizza i mean we've been kind of doing these fake pizza reviews our whole life not online you know because we travel quite a bit we're you know we're known to drive hours and one thing we always do especially get start getting started you can probably relate when you first get started mary you don't have a whole lot of money no. you know you can't be going out to these fancy restaurants so what's the one thing you could do you could go get pizza and it could feed the whole family. So that's where we'd start. You know, we'd go up to Buffalo, try pizza, say, oh, this is kind of like inner circle back, you know. So it's kind of something that's been building. That's awesome. And, yeah. and you, uh, probably a question you get a lot. Do you ever get tired of pizza? Oh, uh, we do. <laughs> uh, and to be completely honest, uh, it, for those that follow our page, we did a big, big drawing in December, like a four-week giveaway with Penguin City Beer. And, mm -hmm. you know, it got quite a bit of attention, but we were – We'd have a different pizza review each week. We would go live on Thursdays each week. I mean, we were eating like three, four days a week for like five straight weeks. And it, like it got to the New Year's and we, we took like a three, four week kind of hiatus just to kind of regroup, you know. So, yeah, it, 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 you can't overdo it. Let's just put it that way. Portion I'm sure control. You, I'm sure you draw a lot of comparisons to what they do on Barstool with Dave Portnoy. Yes. So when when that kind of thing happened, and you said it started kind of as a joke, it started as mm -hmm. something you were just passing on to, to family. I, from his standpoint, he's helped a ton of businesses. Um, you know, like you said, you, you people lining up at these these frequent free, frequenting these businesses um, because they're hungry for that pizza. I will tell you this from my personal experience, Dave Portnoy. And your podcast, or, or or whatever you want to call it, um, your reviews, they make me salivate for pizza. It and is that's that's the number one thing, right? It, it, that's so true. And and again, being Youngstown, like it's like to be completely honest with you, when I first started this, this is where I knew it, it was kind of meant for me to be to do this. Is when I went online and YoungstownPizza.com was just for some reason available, which just shocked me. You could you could type any any city you could think of akronpizza.com and it's taken in youngstown known as many people as the young as the pizza capital of the world for some reason was available so i was like all right this is just meant to be you know i got to get it for like what 11 bucks or whatever it cost to buy it. So, so that's why i'm like okay this is this is probably something we're meant to do so well good that's on good. you man that's great entrepreneurship and you, you've hit it out of the park you and your daughter have done unbelievable she's 17 now you said she's putting this on all kinds of stuff for nhs and and, and you know kind of building up her resume for maybe she's gonna run a business someday but uh but good on good on the both of you this is awesome so let's get to this this is the first ever of its kind this is we're setting it up like march madness right we did this last year during the pandemic with legendary teams of the area and now we're turning to the local pizzas so how this is going to work is we're going to have two play-in games, which we'll explain to you here in a little bit. Um, we're going to rely on Jeremy a little bit and his expertise of the, the pizza in the area and so maybe some, some heavy hitters, but also maybe some underdogs that you might see come through. But this is all about fan voting. So Jeremy knows a lot about that because he gets either a lot of heat or he gets uh, a lot of love for the reviews that he leaves wherever he goes. So starting on Friday at noon, you'll be able to vote for the first round and the matchups, which we will expose to you here right now 
uh, on YSNlive.com. So we appreciate it. Jeremy, let's get down to it. Okay, yes. so your first play-in game is going to be down the way. It's going to be Mary's versus Marie's, and I know you're a big Mary's fan. Talk to me about this play-in game, how you see it playing out. So – to me, they're both great pizzas, and I will say that Colombiana's pizza scene was was a surprise to me. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. But as good as both of them are, I loved both of these pizzas when we reviewed them. The Mary's Pizza is hands down our number one watched review we ever did. Wow. It's over, it's over 35,000 views. It, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost triple some of the other ones. So is, is, if people from Colombiana vote, I think this is going to be a, uh, a landslide. I love that. I mean, and we know better than anybody that Columbiana turns out to vote. All right, let's get to the top of the bracket. We're going to head over to our officially, and these have no bearing on anything. This is how they kind of fell. We're going to go Avalon Downtown versus Brothers Pizza. How do you like this one? And that's funny. I'm, I'm glad you said that you really didn't put any thought into these rankings because I was looking and I said, his number one seed might get knocked out in the first <laughs> round here. And again, if the people from Trumbull County turn out to vote, you might be in trouble because that brother's pizza, I just, that was the last review we just posted. And it, it, it might've been the most, if, if, if it wasn't the most shared review we did, it was, it was up to the top. It took off fast and people out there live and die on that brother's pizza. And so you're expecting Trumbull County to come out and, and support brother's it, pizza on this. Now, Avalon's nostalgic. So I'm not saying this is going to be a tough, I'm just saying this might be close. If it was a true one verse 32, I'd be, this would be circled as like my upset of the week yep. hands down because I'm just saying that the, the don't don't sleep on Brothers Pizza. They have a, right. they have a cult following. But <laughs> again, Avalon. If if it's if it's a casual pizza person going on and voting, Avalon will get some probably free votes just from the name. If that Fair enough. Sense. All right, Inner Circle Wedgewood. I think this is an early uh, matchup that is going to be a knockout dragout. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I would anticipate Wedgwood pulling that, pulling this one out just just because it's Wedgwood. But yeah, I mean, Inner Circle has has definitely has some uh, some diehard fans. A buddy of mine that I grew up with that's his number one spot. So, so this one's interesting to me: Yosteria and Manuel's Pizza. Yes. I had never heard about Emmanuel's Pizza until the other day, and they told me that I'm missing out. Yeah, that the, the the cool thing about that one is that's like the two the two young guys on the block. You know, that's that that's Alex and I can't the guy. I'm the, I'm gonna miss his name. But Emmanuel's is, is the new hotspot. Yosteria was, Yosteria was actually the review that kind of was the first one of ours that really took off uh, when he first opened his spot in Cornersburg, not his spot down at the VNO. When he closed and re re reopened in, in Cornersburg, it was selling out in like 20 minutes. So we went in there and got a pizza. And that was the first one of our reviews that really like went over 10,000 views. And I'm like, what's going on here? So in Emmanuel's, he's just blown up. You know, like again, he came out of nowhere. You know, and he actually got his start working at Brothers Pizza. No kidding. In, uh, in Trumbull County. So he learned from the best out there. So, All right, that's, so that's a knockout. That's that's going to be close. That's, I think that's, that one's going to be one. Gonna be close. I know who I think should take it, but um, Emmanuel's kind of got this. He's the hot guy right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think if if, it, if this was a year from now, I think Yosteria would take this in, a, in, a, in a pretty easily. But Emmanuel's. You know how it is in the play. Even in football, you get that team like the Steelers when they played the season. They were just got hot real quick, and yep. Even if they weren't the best team, maybe. Why you got to break my heart right now? Why you got to bring up my Steelers and, and crush me all over again? Are you a Seahawks fan or no? I'm a Steelers fan. Well, I'm a Steelers fan too. Yeah, they what a what, they, just, they weren't on. the best team in the league that year, though. Everybody knows that. No, year. no. Yeah, no. Right, really. <laughs> <Wouldn't they? laughs> Let's talk about MVR and uh, well, it, it's a play-in game actually to get to the MVRs. Pizza Works uh, versus Ours Pizza. Those two uh, Pizza close. Works. I'm not really. I, I, I've never had it, but Ours Pizza that's a staple in Columbiana. Yes. So talk to me about who you think is going to kind of level up to play MVR. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I think Pizza Works will pull that out. Wow! But like you said, Columbiana shows up. But I, I know for a fact Pizza Work has more social media followers. So, <laughs> all right. Not by, I, I want to again. I, I'm pretty sure they have a couple thousand more social media followers. At, so at here's your street. consolation prize: you get MVR. Is that a consolation prize? Because I think yeah, MVR one, shows up. It's a one and done. Let's be honest with us. That that winner of Pizza Works and ours is a one and done. I if like it's it. not, it's a it's a it's a travesty. And here's another. I love knockout. MVR, by the way. MVR is 
is my I guy. hear such good things. And listen, you've never I, been there. I've never. I haven't had the pizza. I'll put it that way. It's okay, like but you've been there eating their, their food. Oh, absolutely. They're one of my yeah. favorite restaurants. Yeah, I love MVR. I've just never had their pizza because there's so much good stuff on their menu that yeah. I never say, "Hey, I want to have pizza here." Yeah, okay, I, I, I hear you. I'll agree with that because this was it's my top two restaurants in the entire area. All right, Uptown and Sunrise. This to me is another huge matchup. I don't even. If, if you follow my page, you know that this one shouldn't even be happening because Uptown should be in the finals. From wow. The rip, in my opinion, they should what? just get like a like in the PBA where like you qualify and you just go right to the finals. You know. <laughs> and, but I'm very biased. I'm very biased. I was born and raised on Uptown. My mom made it when she was pregnant with me, like three days a week. That's so awesome. I say I, I always say their 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 sauce is in my blood. So. Right. I'm not, I can't I can't make a fair judgment on this one because you could have put New York City's best pizza in there and I'd have said Uptown Pizza is going to beat them. So. That's why you're the expert, right? It's it's yeah. your opinion. That's why we got it's you my here. Opinion. But Sunrise, Sunrise is nostalgic. You know, Sun, Sunrise they got a following too. That deep dish is. So I wouldn't I, be su- yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Like you said, it all depends who shows up. But I I I, I have faith in my uh, fellow Uptown Underground fans. <laughs> all right, here's an interesting one: Iana Zones and Westgate. Hmm. That to me, this one's neck and neck. This is a toss up. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy both of them. The Iana Zones are actually an extended family. Uh, Westgate's been around forever. You know, I grew up in Austin Town. Westgate Wedgwood was the two. Yep. I was. I always leaned to be a Wedgwood guy, but yeah, this could go either way. I could. Right. I, I, I would just be guessing. On All this right. One. So now we're gonna go to two uh, just unbelievably supported Cornersburg versus and- Kent Elmton. I think Elmton's going to pull it out. I don't think – me personally, I have Cornersburg rated above Elmton. Okay. Not by much. I, I, I our, our scale, and it's kind of a universal scale, there's a destination pizza if you go over an 8.0. They're both destination pizzas in my opinion. But I just know the Elmton fans are loony about Elmton. So I just feel they're going to show out and, and, and win this one because it's just – the Struthers pizza fans are a little – they're crazy. They Let's just it, face they it. They take it serious. I mean, there's people that don't have it for years and come back and will fight you, you know, yeah. about Elmton pizza. So it's going to be interesting. Going to be yeah. real now, interesting. Gracie, Gracie didn't like it. Really? Yeah. She, she's, she's not a fan of Swiss and they put Swiss cheese in there yep. in their cheese mix. And she don't like when the, when the, the cheese gets caramelized on the crust and all that. So she, and she don't like green peppers. So oh, geez. that's what it is. You either, you either think Elmton is sent from God or you yep. think of, eh, so wow. I, think show, I think they'll show out and, 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 and pull them into the next round. All right. Help me out with this one. Bellaria and Republic Pizzeria. Again, if you get the young vote, Republic Pizza could pull the upset here. But Gracie would smack me for that because Bellaria is her favorite pizza ever. That's her number one pizza in the Great. area. So uh, if I had to just say, I, I would probably, I'd probably circle Bellaria here, but Republic's great. Jim Trestle, when we when he when he did our drawing with us, couldn't rave about Republic enough. He loves Republic Pizza. Really? Oh yeah, it's right there in can- on campus. So wow. they got good New York style. But the, again, I'm 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 counting on probably a decent amount of people who are probably going to click and vote that aren't like true, like have had all these pizzas. So Bellary has got the name. So I think you'll get they'll get quite a bit of votes based just on their name. But don't sleep hey, on Republic. Don't they sell on taste them. one bite at a time. Just <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's an interesting one. Pizza Joe's and St. A's Bistro. This is one that you are super high on in St. A's. Yeah. To me, this is a, should be a landslide. Yeah. I, I, nothing against Pizza Joe's, but I, but St. A's Bistro, I mean, he, again, one of our most viewed, viewed uh, reviews we did, most shared reviews. He's been a good friend of our, uh, of our page. You know, he lets us, in fact, we're going live there tomorrow with uh, Penguin City Beer Thursday. I don't go. know when you're posting this Thursday at night of this week. We're uh, we're going live with Penguin City Beer and the MLO Bros. We're giving away some YSU tickets. So awesome! He's was, he's just one of those guys. Like if like Jimmy, I need a place to. He's like, come on down. I'll, I'll make you some pies. You know, Jimmy's great. His pizza is awesome. It's got a unique flavor. So I think St. A's Bistro should should run through this pretty pretty easily. If in my opinion, it's it's an, it's on a different level than Pizza Joe's. Pizza Joe's. I know some people like it. It's not. It's not that. It's it's, not that do you think Pizza Joe's scale. has gotten too big? They do, and it's not a Youngstown pizza. Technically, yeah. they were formed in Newcastle, PA. So yeah. I'm kind of partial that way too. You know, it's funny. Like 
I, I I love our pizza joes here in Palestine, but I don't think it tastes like any other pizza joes around. It, it's yeah. weird. It just depends on the pizza joes you go to. So that's the, I and think I they're at an this. unfair advantage or yeah, disadvantage. And I will, I'll say this: we did the we judged the uh, Mahoney Valley Pizza Cookoff yesterday in Canfield. And it was the first time I had their, I had Pizza Joe's Briar Hill and it was good. It was better than I think like their regular cheese pizza. Like I enjoyed it. It was thick and had a, a unique sauce. So maybe I got to give them another look. But I, again, I, I think San Diego's Bistro has the upper hand in this one. If you like fancy pizzas, I will say this about Pizza Joe's because they deliver every Friday night during football season for us is they, uh, is a sweet honey hot pizza. Oh, they probably use the Mike hot, Mike's hot honey. Maybe. I don't know, but dude, it is. Yeah, that, that, that's I mean, pizza is a game changer. I just discovered it recently. Oh, this place out in Newcastle, or my yeah. buddy Nick Turco, it's a game changer on pizza. I never would have thought it. Yeah, it's oh, all right. I'll, I'll get into this. I, I have an honest question for you because I got three year olds and we're going over the ranch on pizza scenario. So I gotta, I gotta get your your thing. I think it ruins the pizza, but I'll, I'll let you kind of. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Um, all right, Bella Napoli and Giangelos. Your thoughts on this one? I, th- I think I think Bell Napoli has this one in the bag. Yeah, he's, okay. he's, he's a good guy. I mean, you, if you've been in there, like you, you feel like you went to Italy. You know the guys. Like this. <laughs> exactly, like that's <laughs> more a playing in the background. I mean, the guy speaks with a deep Italian accent. I mean, he's he's. I think Bell Napoli has this one. All right, so let's move on to Larocca's versus Nikki's Pizza. Now this one, I I got to play kind of. Not sure. I've never had either of them. I'm assuming this is the Nicky's and Campbell, right? I believe so. Yes. Yeah, because there's a there's a Nicky's pub that I really like in Niles, but I think that this is the Nicky's Pizza and Campbell. I've heard good things about them, and I've heard good things about Larocca's in Poland, but I haven't had either of them. In fact, Larocca's is going to be one of the one of the next ones that we do. I think I've been looking to do one out in Poland with our buddies, the MLO bros. So I like it. But yeah, I got I got I got I kind of got a call. I'm not sure. On this one. All right. That's fair enough. Honesty is the best policy, especially yep. with this and, and people are voting. So, all right, let's move on to Southgate and Tangier. Mm. This is, this, this might be the closest one on the, on the, no kid on the board. I mean, it's too old school, you know, I'm, I'm not sure when each of them started Southgate, at least early eighties. Uh, and same thing with Tangier. They've been around forever. <sighs> I, I'd lean Southgate on it. But I would not be surprised one bit if Tangiers came in here and, and and beat them. Southgate, Southgate's just it's one of those nostalgic pizza places, though. Again, so that's that's on your personal a, vote, tough, or what do you think is going to win? I uh, this is a toss up because okay. they both have the name. They both have the name. Even the casual people were are probably going to be like "Eeny, meeny, miny, mo." I'll probably say they'll probably lean towards Southgate if I, okay. like, if I had to guess. Fair enough. Briar Hill versus Carmen's. I haven't had Carmen's. So I, I'm gonna have to pull pull the middle ground on this too, and it's been years since I had Briar Hill. But if I had to just guess, if you put a gun to my head, I'd say Briar Hill just because I've had it and it's, it's pretty good. Okay, but I've never had Carmen's. This one I have a little bit of intrigue in because I just discor- discovered North Lima Pizza actually after you had your review. Yep. Um, I was I, I was a doubter, Jeremy. I was a doubter. I thought there's no way this pizza is that good. Your reaction alone made me say I got to go have some of this. It's interesting because North Lima, you, it, it's almost like a cult following, mm-hmm. and it's an interesting. You have to go buy pizza like certain time of the day, yeah, like, like two hours. Yeah, <laughs> it's the weirdest yeah. thing. Ever. You got to have cash. Yeah, like, it, it, it reminds me of the time. Seinfeld episode where you know, no soup for you. You go. Yeah. You know, you never do that. They never do that. But mm-hmm. North Lima Pizza versus Giannino's. Yeah, I, I'm definitely North Lima Pizza on this. Again, if Colombiana shows out, like because I think a lot of people like you might not realize. North Lima. So I wouldn't be surprised if Giannino's wins, but I don't think they should win. But again, I didn't have North Lima pizza. That was, that was actually, fun fact, that was the first review we ever did. That was the one that was the joke. We were at my brother-in-law's, and he's like, have you ever had this North Lima pizza? Because he likes pizza, too. He's like, it got, it was like, I can't remember what the Yelp review was or Google review, but it was like 4.8. It was a ridiculously high score. And I'm like, no, I've never even, I've driven by it. So we just stopped on the way home because he lives in Columbiana. We got it, and we filmed ourselves eating it. And I just put it on my regular page, and that's kind of what yep. started this whole thing. So, yeah. When I ate it, I said it's on Wedgwood level. That was my first initial reaction when I said it. So I love it. It's Dude, good. it's 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 unbelievable. I, I don't I don't even know how to describe it. It's just it's a it's a perfect pizza. You know, it's it one is. of those those it's a perfect, those perfect Youngstown pizza because it's yep. not like super thick, but it's not thin, it's that perfect 
middle of the road Youngstown thickness. Yeah, it's, it's just good. All right, let's move to Francesco's and Mary's. Uh, who are, are, I guess, the winner of Mary's and Marie's. Yeah, again, 35,000 views. <laughs> my, my, next, my next closest one, I think, is 13.5. So let's just leave it at that. If Columbiana shows out, Mary should run through this pretty deep. Mary's has a, a lot of following, too, not even just around this area, but kind of worldwide. You said you had a lot of people following from all over the place watching the reviews yeah. for Mary's Pizza. It, it was crazy. Like, uh, it's Lisbon. Like, I would have never in a million years. Again, maybe maybe Lisbon just doesn't get that much attention, and finally somebody put something positive about him, and the, everyone in the town went crazy for it. But people love their Mary's Pizza. Love it. All right. And the final one, which I think is I, I've got the most interest in, uh, naturally, I'm a huge fan of Coca's Pizza. Mm -hmm. Bruno Brothers, I've had twice maybe in my life, but I, I think this is still going to be a knockout, dragout fight. It will definitely be a knockout, dragout fight. Uh, I know my person, my, just my taste again, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with either of them. They're both well, well known pizza shops in town. I tend to lean towards Bruno brothers, but mm -hmm. I live right across the street from Coca's. I get them all the time. I mean, it's, it's Coca's. I mean, so, and it's tough because they both have probably four or five spots throughout town. So, I mean, this is, this, that one could get interesting. I think, I, I think Coca's might pull it out, but. Cause their names out there a little bit more like, you know, they spawn, they're, they're on the side of Boardman's football stadium, you know, mm -hmm. like, so again, I think, you know, maybe the not so serious pizza fan, not saying that they're not good. I don't want that to come across like, Oh, if you don't know pizza, you're going to vote for Coca's cause it's good pizza. But I think Coca's might pull it out. But if it was me voting, I'd probably put a slight edge to Bruno brothers. Because sure. they have that advertising on YSN. There you go. <laughs> um, let's uh, these big platforms, you know, it's hard to compete. <laughs> let's let's uh, let's head up the, the the big heavyweight favorite here in in this entire bracket. Who do you think's gonna end up holding the title when it's all said and done? I mean, it would be hard. Again, if it was just me, it's Uptown Pizza. But I mean, it, this this town, everybody knows Wedgwood Pizza is the kind of the standard. Everyone mm -hmm. loves Wedgwood Pizza. Even Portnoy when he came here. Like, even though he didn't rate Wedgwood good, he said, I got more requests to come eat Wedgwood pizza than any other pizza. Like, Wedgwood's just the pizza that's that's kind of associated with this area. So I personally would be shocked if Wedgwood didn't win the whole thing. But you never know. I can get behind that. All right. Yeah. And then who's the underdog? Who do people, who do you think is going to shock some people Mary's. in the way they get votes? I'm just telling you, because I'm, I'm guaranteeing you that a lot of people that are going are gonna to be like, what the heck is Mary's Pizza in Lisbon, Ohio? But if they show up, they can take this whole thing home. I'm telling you. I love it. And uh, if people want to get in touch with you, youngstownpizza.com, they can check out, I mean, all your stuff. I think it's on YouTube, right? Or is it on uh, Facebook? Don't, don't go on YouTube. I, I tried to, I got like three uh, three videos uploaded. Facebook's our main. Facebook, okay. Facebook's our main thing. Yeah, the youngstownpizza.com, it's a work in progress. But yeah, definitely go on there. We got all the links to most of the pizza shops. But our Facebook page is definitely uh, our bread and butter. You know, it's just the demographic that that follows us. A lot of it's our thirty and forty year olds. You know, we were Facebook generation. Oh, you know? absolutely. So that's how and Instagram. We're on Instagram. We're slowly growing on Instagram. It's it's a lot harder to get followers on Instagram than Facebook. I've realized, but we've 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 eclipsed the thousand mark on Instagram. So I was proud of that. Absolutely, but, yeah. man. You should be proud. You've done a lot in a year, uh, and especially yeah. just kind of stumbling on this. You, you, you've been fantastic. You, you've helped businesses, and that's what it's all about here in Youngstown. So, Jeremy, congratulations. Thank you so much for, for chiming in, and uh, we'll be together real soon uh, doing yeah, some man. pizza reviews. Heck yeah. Sounds great.